Cebu Island and we made our way to Karkar on uh, it's one of our stops that we're gonna we're making on our way to uh, Mual Bual. so we are in Karkar for one reason and one reason only that's the Chicharon Chicharon's right over here this is what Karkar is famous for right baby look at all this Chicharon you want you want to try one Mm. Let's try this one out. We need to find the best. <laughs> mm. and this one's more crispy. Is there another one over here? Yeah, can we try one, please? We're trying to find the best one. Mm -hmm. Let me flip this one. The Louise. The first one? Maybe we could get spicy from one and then get the regular from the other. What's it gonna be? Hi, how's it going? Um, can we try a chicharon? Okay. We're, we're, we're hunting for the best one. Okay, <laughs> Thank you. Mmm, this one has a little bit of different flavor, huh? Yeah. It's good. So, we got one bag of the spicy. Alright, so that one was called Bardin Chicharon on the Rotunda. These two were the winner. Luis Chicharon. Is it Luis or Luis? Lewis? Lewis? Looks like they got pop rice, banana chips. Oh no, thank you. We bought lots of chicharron already, we had too much. Guys, we're here in was it Barili? Yeah, Barili. Barili. So this is what I forgot last time when I came to the Philippines. I forgot to record the babinka. We got fresh babinka. They cook them right here on the on the sides of the road, and they use uh, coconut shells to power the fire. So this is where they're making the babinka right here. They got some right there. These are so good. Really good Vivinka here. We're here in the mountains right now, halfway to Moa Bual. And she's got a big pail of Vivinka right there. So let's try one, baby. And Angelique's uh, helmet is like two sizes too big for her. 
<laughs> it's supposed to be your helmet. Oh, is it? Yeah. Mm. They were made earlier, but it's so good. Mm. You see that? It's like a, almost like a rice bread, huh? That'd be so good with like butter, huh? Mm. It's like a rice bread with coconut inside of it. Normally, when I try these, they're like super hot. Like just off the fire, like just cooked. Mm. But, oh my God, they're so good. They'd be like really good with I think like ice cream. <laughs> I got a best bite up. Ice cream. <laughs> ice cream, but for sure butter. Like if we had fresh butter right now to uh, put on those, it'd be so amazing. But you see over there, they got all the coconuts. All the coconut shells right there. That's what they use for the fire. To uh, power these little oven things that they have that they cook the babinka in. But it's super beautiful out here. I love this little town. So this is the exact place where you bought it last time? Not, not, not this exact place. I forgot which one it is because there's a couple over there. Anywhere, you know where to find them when they have smoke on the road like that. When they have the little smoke coming out of the little pails like that. That's how you know where to find them. But they cook them in the morning. So maybe on the way back we could try, we could get some in the morning like super fresh and we can bring butter with us from Mwabla. Yeah. yeah. You will drive the butter up to Mwabla? No, I'm saying um, on the way back from Mwabla when we're going home, when we're going back to Cebu City. We could try it. We'll bring some butter with us. That way we get the babinka when it's freshly made early in the morning. And it's, it's like, it's, it, it, you know, when something's fresh, you could tell like how much different it tastes, you know? They're good, but when they're the ones I tried when they're like super hot, they're like uh, they're like softer and warm and delicious. So we got some kids getting off school here. They're down there playing some volleyball. Just beautiful out here, so beautiful. I wouldn't mind living out here. All right, so that's pit stop number two. First was Kakar, Orili. Now we're gonna go to the milk station and see if that one's still open. And after that, we're heading straight to Moabwa. So let's go to the milk station, guys. All right, guys, we made our third and final stop on the way to Moabwa. We're here at the milk station. <laughs> Milk station. So, this place is just right outside Barili, and um, they have fresh milk here, and they also make ice cream out of the milk. And they have like some food and snacks and stuff you can eat. So. There's the ube. Give it a try, baby. What flavor did you try the uh, first time? Uh, mango. Mm. What do you think? Good? And what's next? What do you have there? Guess what? You know, we have this in um, Cavite too. It's a carabos milk and then turn out turn to cheese. It's good with pandesal baby. Very hot pandesal. Shoot, we're gonna have it with some babinka. Good thing we got the babinka because now we got the, the queso and we have the delicious ube ice cream right there with some babinka.
you, sh you should have took a picture first. Oui. Oui. <laughs> <laughs> All right, give it a try, baby. Just bite that beautiful bibinka. Good? Yeah? Give me a bite. Mm. You know what that cheese is similar to? It's really similar to um, a Mexican queso fresco, and um, it's a cross between that and the flavor of cream cheese a little bit. Yeah, that tastes like queso fresco. It's that tastes cow's, almost exactly the same. Cow's milk? Well, it could be cow's milk and it could be made out of goat's milk. That's really good. If you like queso fresco, you'll like this. Um, fresh queso here in the Philippines, very similar to Mexican cheese. Wow. All right, let's try. Can you hold this, baby? Uh, I'm trying to get a scoop here. Help me out. Mm. That's so good. It's like nice and creamy. All right, so we're gonna finish up our little snack here and then we're gonna try to Hurry up and get on the road before um, night falls, and we could arrive in Wall Wall at a decent hour. So, yeah. All right, baby. Let's enjoy this food and be on our way. Bye. Good morning. So we arrived last night. We got so lazy. Um, we found some quick dinner. Had some shomai, some fried chicken. And forgot to close up the vlog but we arrived here safely we're here at hk resort in moal boal and um yeah this is our motorbike here this is what we used over the mountains we got the 155 cc and that was perfect plenty of power huh baby plenty of power huh for this bike Let's go over here and look at the beach real quick. Yeah, let's go look at the beach real quick. Let's open the... What I like about this bike is it has so much room in here. Look. All right, let's go look at the beach real quick. So, this is what we're staying in right here. We are HK Resort. What did we have for dinner last night? We had, um, well actually, yeah, mangu silog. Yeah. yeah, that's what we had, mangu silog. And we had uh, shomai, we had fried chicken, we had puso, we had buko juice. So, the sea's a little rough right now. There's 45% chance of rain, but we'll see what happens. So let's take a look here. It's very nice. You got a bunch of seating areas right there. On the weekends, you'll see people um, out here barbecuing and um, hanging out with families and stuff. It's high tide right now. Look how much higher it is. There used to be like a walking area right there for the sand, but now it's high tide. So um, yeah, right over there in the distance. Right across, that's Negros. But, uh, yeah, very cool spot. So, we are going to have some breakfast and get ready to start our day. Um, we'll catch you. We'll catch up with you guys in our next vlog. Uh, our next vlog, we're gonna be heading out to Kawasan Falls. And go check out the waterfalls over there. Um, so if you liked our video, like, subscribe, and share. And we'll see you guys next time.